In this video, we will show you how to replace your front ABS sensor on this Honda Civic. This will be located behind your front wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you are going to want to do is safely raise and support the front of your vehicle so the wheel is off the ground. I like to have the suspension hanging. Once you've done that, continue on to removing all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts, the hub cap assuming you have one, and then the wheel. Now with the wheel out of the way, we have a clear view of the ABS sensor mounted directly to our steering knuckle. To remove this, we'll be using a 10 millimeter. Get right on that mounting bolt, turn it counterclockwise to remove it. Inspect your mounting hardware, replace it as necessary. Now the next thing you want to do is take hold of that ABS sensor and try to give it a little wiggle. It's common for it to be stuck in the knuckle. If it is, you could spray it with some penetrant and try to work it back and forth a little bit. Be extremely careful not to break it off. Ours feels like it's nice and free, so I'll take hold of it and pull it up and out of there. Now that we have the ABS sensor dislodged, follow the wire up. You'll find that you have one plastic clip that goes into the front strut. We're going to remove this by using some long nose pliers. Squeeze on each of these two ears. While you do so, go ahead and pull this out of place. Now we can follow that wire to where it connects onto the body of the vehicle, all the way up next to your brake line. Up in this area, it's a little bit harder to access those two mounting ears. We'll use some angled pliers. Come right inside this area, just like the other one. Squeeze the two ears and pull it out of place. Now we can follow that along the front area of the strut to where it connects onto the body. For this, we'll just use a small prying device. I'll use a trim tool. Get right in between here and gently pry it out of place. Now we will follow this up and behind here. If you can't reach up behind here, you can remove this push clip. To remove a push clip, just get right underneath the center and pull that out of place. With it in the unlocked position, we'll continue on to the outer aspect and just pry that out of place. Give it a quick inspection and now we can pull this aside. Now we'll just make our way in here and pry this out of place. At this point, we'll take hold of that gray connector. On this, you'll find that there's a small squeeze tab. Squeeze that to unlock it and then separate the two pieces. Give each side a quick inspection for corrosion and we can set that wiring aside. And now we can remove that ABS sensor. There it is, friends. All right, let's get ready for the installation of our brand new ABS sensor with wire. Let's take that electrical connector and connect it into the gray wiring harness. Align the locking area, press it until you hear a click, and give that a tug. Now we'll take this area and press it up into the mounting point in the body of the vehicle. Give it a little wiggle to make sure it is secured in place. At this point, we'll continue on with the wiring. Let's take this area and slide it into the body. Press it in, listen for a click. There it is. Double check to make sure that's secure. We'll continue on over next to that brake line. Now we can make our way to the back side of the strut. We'll get this aligned. Press it in. Now we can secure that ABS sensor into the knuckle. Let's bring that down and slide it into position. Start in your mounting bolt, snug it up, and then torque that to 7.2 foot pounds, which essentially converts to 86 inch pounds. Double check to make sure everything's secured and it's not tangled or stuck on anything. Let's resecure our protective shield. 
We'll press in the outer portion of the push clip and then lock it in with the center. Double check to make sure that's completely secure. Now we can install our wheel. Install your hubcap, making sure that you align your valve stem hole. Start on all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts, bottom them out. We'll get the wheel back on the ground and torque each of the lug nuts to 80 foot pounds. Now with the wheel safely on the ground, we'll torque these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Okay friends, we showed you how to install your front ABS sensor. At this point, if you had an ABS light, go ahead and clear that code. Take your vehicle for a road test and make sure that the ABS light does not come back on. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.